Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, we're going to be sharing with you guys some of the most bullish chart patterns that I've ever seen in crypto, and how the total market cap is actually reflecting that exact same sentiment. These are chart patterns that I haven't actually seen since 2017. I made a ton of profit off of these chart patterns in 2017, and now that the whole market cap is looking like it's going to be repeating this fractal, you guys need to be gearing up for one of the biggest profit potentials that we have ever seen in the side of this market. This is the most bullish chart pattern that I have ever seen in any sort of market. I've watched many different altcoins play out in this role and when that happens it creates one of the most parabolic and euphoric market cycles we have ever seen. Now that the total market cap is gearing up for this exact same scenario, we need to know exactly what we can do to stay ahead of the game so that we can make the most profit over the next three months possible. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys sign up and join the Discord server of over 21,000 members are growing. Links are going to be provided for you in the description for the people that want to join and sign up for my community. On top of that, if you're new, just getting into these markets and you want extra educational content on how to be more profitable, links are also in the description to go ahead and download my free ebook and beginner's guide to crypto. That I know is going to help you guys out tremendously. So check it out. Links are provided for you in the description. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so here we are for today's video, going to be talking about the total crypto market cap. Now, we're going to look at the total crypto market cap, and then we're going to look at the total altcoin market cap, and then we're going to share with you guys some of the altcoin examples that I made a lot of profit off of in 2017, and basically explaining what we're doing right now and how it applies to those same universal chart patterns. Now, this is the big thing, guys. This When I, t when I tell you guys that this is the most bullish chart pattern that exists, I truly mean it because I've seen this play out a number of different times and it was actually the first chart pattern that I ever learned when I started investing. The reason I started learning this one was because I started reading a lot of investment books. I saw that this one was known as being one of the more bullish chart patterns that existed and I wanted to pretty much just find the most bullish scenarios possible with crypto at the time and so finding the cup and handle formation which is what we're going to be talking about today has really made me a lot of profit because a lot of altcoins in 2017 actually did this pattern and it's something that I've been waiting to see play out inside the crypto market market since, but I've never seen another one in the meantime. You know, cup and handles are pretty rare. They don't happen very often, but when they do happen, they create some of the biggest euphoric rallies that we ever see. Now, to explain what a cup and handle formation is, a cup and handle formation is simply, you know, what it, what it sounds like. You get the top of the rise. This is going to be the top of the cup where the market rises up and then you get a correction, right? Now, inside of the cup and handle, you want it to be as rounded as possible. It doesn't have to be 100% perfectly rounded or anything like that, but the more round it is, the more that it's gonna follow this sort of universal uh, principle when it comes to trading this pattern. And so you'll see the market start to consolidate, it'll fall back down, it'll kind of round out, and then it makes another attempt at that same resistance or the top of the cup. Once again, we get rejected and then we have one more little pullback that actually creates the handle in this formation. And then what you want to see after the handle is actually created is the price immediately start breaking out and break out of both the top of the resistance of each side of the cup, right? And this is how you're going to know if it's a true cup and handle. Some of them can vary. They're not always going to look 100% perfect like this one. Some of them might look a little bit different, but overall, you're going to want to see more of a rounded symmetry and you're going to want to see the tops of the cups being as equal as possible. Sometimes the, this part of the cup can be a little higher. Sometimes this part of the cup can be a little higher. It's not always going to be perfect, like I've said, but as a rule of thumb, that's what you're going to be looking for. Now, guys, I wanted to share with you guys the total market cap chart because it's actually creating this exact same setup. And it is amazing to me because what I saw in 2017 was so many altcoins do this setup right before their major blow off top type moves. And it's really just a, a bullish continuation pattern, right? It's a bullish continuation pattern, meaning that there's already been an uptrend established. And then once the cup and handle forms, it's right before you get a lot of bullish continuation to the upside. Now guys, we've already had a massive rally, right? The crypto markets have been going up significantly for a long period of time now. 
And this is perfect opportunity for us to actually see this type of a uh, chart set up. Now, inside of this wave four structure, remember, if we draw the Elliott waves where we're at right now, we're getting up, we're gearing up for wave five, right? We finish wave one, which is the first impulse. We finish wave three, which is the second impulse. And wave four is oftentimes where you're going to see triangle consolidations, or in this case, we're actually seeing a cup and handle formation, which is even more bullish in my opinion. So what we know is that we're gearing up for this final wave five type of move. Inside of a wave five, you're going to see the blow off top. Now, Oftentimes the blow off top can vary when it comes to calculating how high the wave five will go. But inside of a parabolic market like crypto, you're oftentimes gonna see this five wave overextend very high and it's gonna get very parabolic, which in my opinion is customary of what you're gonna see inside of a cup and handle. And I'll give you guys examples in a minute of really what I'm talking about and how different cup and handles have played out thus far. But the fact that we're seeing this exact setup right now should make you guys very excited because I know most of you don't understand the significance of cup and handles. Most most of you guys haven't been around to see them play out or most of you guys probably don't even know what they are but I'm bringing it to your attention as somebody who's experienced them, as somebody who's traded them before, and as somebody who's seen just how profitable these things are and this is exactly where we're at today. So if we drop it in here to the shorter time frames, let's basically go ahead and analyze this cup and handle formation. Now. If you come over here and draw the top of the cup, this is going to be the resistance for the first resistance here. After the uptrend, we make our first resistance and then we start selling off. Now, this is going to be the base of the bull right here where you kind of get this rounded action. It doesn't have to be perfectly rounded bottom like that chart was show I was showing with you guys a second ago. But nonetheless, it needs to create somewhat of a bull shape. And we can see that that's what took place ever since about May. Um, for about three months, we consolidated here and kind of just rounded out. You know, we never really broke below that support level. We had bounces off of it, but for the most part, it pretty much consolidated around that same level down here at about, you know, a little over a trillion dollars in market cap. Now, what we recently saw here after we bottomed over here, we rallied all the way back up to the top of this resistance, got pretty close to those previous all time highs. And now we've had one more pullback. And so what we're seeing here, guys, is your classic example of that cup and handle formation where we see the top of the cup. We rally back down, have a short term correction. We round out, create the base of the cup, and then we rally back up, hit that resistance again. And this creates our second um, part of that cup's top, right? This is the this is the top of the cup, the resistance. This is the base of the cup, the bottom. And now what we've recently saw here was us actually creating the handle formation. Now, if you guys remember that chart I just shared with you, this handle looks almost exactly the same as what we're seeing today. This chart setup looks almost the same in every sort of way. The bottom structure looks a little bit different, but nonetheless, it's not always going to be 100% the same. But what we can see here is roughly the same sort of handle formation. And once we've actually found support on the bottom of this handle, we immediately started breaking up. And so what we're seeing here, guys, is the early stages of a confirmed cup and handle. And the way that we get a confirmed cup and handle break is once we actually break above the resistance of the top of the cup. Once we can actually break above that, that's going to be our confirmed cup and handle breakout. And like I've said, guys, this is one of the more bullish chart setups that you're ever going to find. Now, this is happening on the total market cap. This is happening after a very large impulse um, since pretty much uh, March of 2020, right? A massive rally on the upside. And so remember, the cup and handle is a bullish continuation pattern. And inside of the cup and handle, once it breaks out, this is usually when markets go into pure euphoria. And it oftentimes breaks out inside of this wave four structure. So remember, we had wave one, we had wave three, the four wave was this sell off. And now we're gearing up for wave five. Inside of this cup and handle, you're going to see it play out between waves three and wave four. And then it breaks out going into wave five, right? You're going to see this play out a number of different times. And I'll get to the examples for a second. But I wanted to share with you guys the altcoin total market cap as well, because this one is doing the exact same thing. There's almost no difference here. In fact, in my opinion, the altcoin total market cap is actually even a better uh, cup and handle formation. We get the tops of the cups, the resistance. We get the rounded base of the cup, the bowl, and then we get um, this little handle that is honestly even a better handle than what we're seeing inside of the normal 
uh, total market cap, right? And so this is a very, very bullish looking setup across the board. And it perfectly tells me that we're gearing up for this final blow off top type of move. When I first noticed that this was a cup and handle, I got really excited because I've not only been talking to you guys about this final blow off top that we're going to be expecting to close out the end of the year, but the fact that it's creating this cup and handle makes me even more excited because this is the exact chart setup that ends up playing out before a massive euphoric type move. And so the charts are literally showing uh, not only what the time frames are pointing to, not only what the Elliott waves are pointing to, but all of these are kind of factoring into each other and making, you know, the big thesis that, hey, there's about to be a lot of euphoria stepping into the market. There's going to be a ton of profit potential to be made. And all of everything is kind of lining up for that exact same thesis. And so it's making me really excited for not only myself, but for you guys out there that have never experienced a cup and handle first off, because we haven't seen one yet in this cycle as a conglomerate, as a whole, the total market cap hasn't made anything like that. But now we're actually getting ready to form one of these. And as soon as we can get a breakout above the top of this resistance at about $1.4 trillion, Oh, this is the altcoin total market cap. Uh, total market cap is going to be about 2.4. Once we can actually get a break above this level, this thing is going to fly a lot faster than people even realize. It's going to go way parabolic in a fast amount of time that's going to catch most people off guard. People don't realize the power of these cups and handles. And so let's actually get into some examples so I can share with you guys a little bit more of what I'm talking about here. So the first crypto that I really remember doing this formation, one of the first cryptos I ever found in that last cycle was actually Dash. Now Dash it was one of the greater outperforming altcoins of that cycle. It was one of the leaders of that crypto cycle along with like Monero, XRP, um, and, you know, Ethereum, things like that, right? Oh, I couldn't even think about them for a second. It's been so long. But Dash actually made this exact same setup. And if we come over here, I'll share with you guys a little bit more of what I mean. So remember, the top of the cup is the resistance. We make two different points of contact inside of the top of the cup. The closer they are to each other, the more accurate the chart setup. You want it to be very symmetric inside of how it plays out. You don't want this little, uh, you don't want the lower high to stop way below that previous high. Otherwise, it's going to look less symmetrical and the probabilities of it actually playing out are going to be diminished. Now, here we can see this exact same thing that played out inside of Dash. We get the first rally up, we make a big crash, and then this is what creates the base of the bull, or the cup, I should say, the big rounded action. And then we actually make another rally to the upside. We come all the way back up to the top of this resistance of the top of the cup, and then we form the handle. And the handle is just one quick little pullback, right? And we can see that this was the exact same thing that played out here inside of Dash. And I remember watching this play out after the fact, right? This was really where I learned about the cup and handle. Dash was breaking out and it went up so fast. It was one of the first major Bitcoin pairs to break out back in 2017. And when it happened, I remember sitting there watching it thinking, man, if this is what's happening to Dash, I want to find the next Dash. And so I studied this chart and then I learned about the cup and handle. And I realized that that's what this one created. And it's actually because of me watching Dash early on that I was able to find this pattern play out on a number of other altcoins where I made a lot of profit profit in the process. Now, this is what happened to Dash shortly after. This cup and handle broke out and it was very, 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 very bullish. Now, here's a funny thing. There's actually another cup and handle inside of this chart. Keep in mind, guys, that Dash had like a thousand X type of move after this breakout, right? But this is a much greater cup and handle. This is like a three year cup and handle, right? Obviously we're not in a three year cup and handle. So the move isn't going to be a thousand X, but it's the chart setup that I'm trying to share with you guys. It is the most bullish chart pattern that you're going to find inside of a market. And it shows that there's about to be a lot of euphoria stepping into the market. Now, if you guys want to see another example of one, after this cup and handle, we actually formed another one after this first major run up. So Dash literally went from like, you know, $9 all the way up to $120. And then it was this pullback that we actually created another cup and handle formation. So if we come over here, we're going to draw the top of the resistance. Remember, you have two different points of contact. We have one, then we have two there. Then you make the rounded formation, the base of the bull. And sometimes with certain setups, I mean, if we could drop this into a four hour time frame and it would look a little bit more rounded, but on the bigger time frames, it's going to look kind of like a V bottom. You'll have the rally up, it'll fall back down. It'll kind of go like this. 
and then that'll be what it looks like on the bigger time frames. And so if you want to zoom in, you can, but just understand that this is another example of that same exact sort of chart setup. Now we get the top of the resistance and then we make the handle once again, guys. And then what happens shortly after? Well, it breaks out and that's what ultimately takes us to that final blow off top type of a move, right? And it was very, very, very parabolic in the process. This one down here isn't quite as good of an example as this one down here. This one down here is very obvious to tell, in my opinion. It's a very nice looking cup and handle formation. You have a perfect retest of the top of the resistance. You have the perfect size handle back down. And then what we see shortly after is the type of move that you would expect to see inside of a cup and handle breakout. Very, very parabolic and euphoric in euphoric. Now, if we come over here, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at BitShares. Now, BitShares is a crypto most of you probably don't even remember. Um, it really hasn't been talked about in this cycle at all, but basically the creator of EOS actually created BitShares and it's a decentralized crypto exchange. And I think based off of what I can remember, I think it was actually the very first decentralized exchange ever. Obviously, nobody uses it because nobody has even heard about it. They were a little bit too far ahead of the game and, uh, you know, at, the, at this point in the cycle, you just don't hear about it anymore. And this is kind of what I talk about when I say take your profits, because most of these altcoins that were really hyped in 2016, 2017, they're obsolete in this cycle. And the same thing now, the coins that are really hyped in this cycle, they're going to be obsolete in the next cycle. Majority of them, I'd say 90 to 95% of them will be. Now, guys, BitShares did another example of one of these, and this is the Bitcoin pair, actually. So here's going to be where I talk a little bit about how sometimes the top of the resistance here and the bottom of the resistance here, they're not always going to be 100% perfect. Like if we draw a line right here, obviously we don't even come up here and tag it. So it's not always going to follow that rule of thumb, but it's simply just a guide and a metric to help you guys understand. In my opinion, I always see people draw cup and handles like this. You get this massive run up, you get this crash, and then it does something like this. And then people call this a cup and handle. Well, no, it's not a cup and handle because the top of the resistance is clear up here. That makes no sense. Um, in this situation, it does qualify, but the odds of it actually playing out in that way are diminished the less symmetrical it actually is. So just remember those sort of things. But once again, we see roughly the same exact universal pattern. We see the rally up, we make the top of the resistance, we crash back down, we make the base of the cup, rally back up once again to that resistance, and then we form the handle, right? Quick little pullback. And then we're off to the races once again. And in my opinion, this is really... Um, this BitShares example is almost a better example than Dash. Not so much of the cup itself, but what happens after this. This is usually where you're going to see the blow off top of a move. And so when I say that this is why I believe that that's what the crypto markets are gearing up for, it's because this is pretty much the exact same point that we're at in history, right? We finished wave one down here for BitShares. We finished wave three, and it was between wave three and four that the cup and handle formation formed, and that's what took us to a final breakout move into wave five. And so this is roughly the same exact thing that we're at today. When we look at the total market cap, we're at this exact same moment of time where we've already finished wave one. This entire cup and handle formation is between wave three and wave four, and the breakout of this will be taking us into wave five, which is the blow off top. This is where you're going to see cup and handle formations form in between wave three and wave four heading into wave five. And so the fact that we saw this dash cycle was actually the very beginning of a trend. Um, but the one in BitShares follows a little bit more closely to where we're at today in the current market cycle. We're in between wave three and four awaiting the final blow off top type of move. And so when I always say to you guys that we should expect to see a ton of profit, a ton of new money flooding into the market, this is really why. I've already said that for the past couple of years now. I've always said that we'd get a blow off top to close out the end of the year. As we've gotten closer to the end of the year and the end of the four year cycle, I've continued to stick to that thesis. I've shared with you guys my price targets of a $20,000 Ethereum of uh, $250,000 Bitcoin. And a lot of people sat there and, and thought to themselves, man, there's no way that's going to happen in just three or four months. There's just, it's just impossible. That's too much money. Where's that money going to come from? And now that we're actually forming this cup and handle formation right close at the end of the year, right at the same time frames in which we've always seen a massive blow off top take place in the crypto markets. I could not be more confident in my thesis. And so when we see these patterns play out, guys, 
it's an early sign that, hey, there's something major brewing. And when it comes to the cup and handle, I've seen this thing play out time and time again in a very profitable way. I can share with you guys another example right here. Let's come over here and look at Ethereum. So Ethereum back in 2017 did another one of these cups and handles. Now, in the same way that BitShares made, it didn't quite come up all the way to the tag. Uh, it didn't come all the way up to the very top of the cup. It kind of uh, pulled back a little bit shorter. Now, Ethereum is going to be an example of the opposite, where we have our first resistance here, but the second part of the cup actually comes and peaks up a little bit higher above. Nonetheless, it's still the same universal pattern, guys. It's still the exact same setup. It's just that there's going to be some variance in between each one. It's not always going to be 100% perfect, but you're oftentimes going to see it play out one way or another. Generally, as a rule of thumb, you want these two to be symmetrical as possible. Sometimes this one will be the highest. Sometimes the second one will be the highest. It really just depends. But nonetheless, what we're looking for inside of this cup and handle is what's going to lead us to the final blow off top type of a move. And inside of our Elliott waves, that's what we see right here. This is wave one. This was wave three, wave four, and then that cup and handle took us into wave five, which got very, very overextended. And so when you see these uh, cup and handle formations forming inside of wave three and wave four, you're going to see the big part of the cycle play out in the blow off top. You're going to see a big blow off top. It's not going to be some little puny um, pump that crashes immediately. Inside of a cup and handle, it shows that there is a lot of money and a lot of demand that is going to be flooding into the market. And what's funny about this chart is there's actually an even smaller example of this same cup and handle if we go all the way back to what we saw here in 2016 as well. So let's throw it back here a little ways. And let's go to the first market cycle for Ethereum. So we're going to see this exact same thing play out once again, guys. And this is so funny how um, this cup and handle plays out in almost the exact same ways every single time. So we have the rally up. We make the top of the cup. And then this one follows closely to bit shares. We start to sell off at our first resistance. We make the base of the cup. We rally back up second resistance. And then this is really where we get our handle, right? And the handle can vary. But generally, it's going to be you know fairly short in comparison. And then that's what takes us to that final blow off top type of a structure. And so when I say that this is going to be creating a big move, guys, it really will be. I've seen a play out on these altcoins. I shared with you guys a couple different examples of where we've seen cup and handles play out and just how parabolic they get shortly after. The fact that the entire crypto market cap is creating this pattern and it's looking primed for a breakout of this. I'm telling you guys right now. What we saw in that original cycle all the way back down in here in 2017, we saw pretty much the same thing take place right before our blow off top. We saw a big run up onto the upside, made our first resistance here, made the base of the cup, made our second resistance, and then this was our handle formation, right? We made that exact same type of a setup right here before what happened? Well, the final blow off top in that cycle. This is what happened shortly after. We made this exact same setup back in 2017 in the total market cap. We had that run up. We made a cup and handle formation inside of wave three and wave four. And then inside of wave five, that's where we saw the blow off top of that cycle. And so I really firmly believe that this is pretty much where we're at today. I believe that we're going to be seeing pretty much this exact same sort of uh, setup play out once more. And it's going to create an opportunity for us to make a lot of money. You know, only the people that have the foresight to see this stuff play out, because most people don't. It's just the way the cycle works. Most people really just um, don't have enough foresight to see something like this play out. And because of that, they're going to miss out on it. But this is the type of move that we're going to be expecting to see, guys. And why I've pretty much pinpointed 10 to $15 trillion in market cap. We don't know how crazy this is going to get. It could get a lot crazier than most people expect. Um, and that's why I believe 10 trillion is a pretty safe target when it comes to the end of the year. And this is the type of move that we're going to be seeing guys. Why I've always stated to hold until the end of the year is because the majority of our profits are going to be made in the tail end of this cycle. When the final three months of quarter four, we're going to see these markets take off something that we haven't seen up to this point. We got pretty close back here on this first run up. This was very parabolic, very profitable. But in comparison to what we're about to see, it will make that move look like peanuts. And I'm dead serious about that, guys. I watched what happened in quarter four in 2017. It was the most profitable point of the cycle where even the crappiest of all coins took off and made huge gains. You could have been an idiot. I watched my friend 
with literally like three months of trading knowledge, very basic TA understanding, take $5,000 and turn it into 147 grand in just a couple months. And arguably that really isn't even that good compared to what a lot of you guys are gonna be doing that have more knowledge this time around. He was just trading random crap coins, really had no idea what he was even doing, happened to just nail a bunch of them right before this final move happened. And this is gonna be the same thing that plays out once again. And so I want you guys to be prepared. I want you guys to understand that this is what is actually gonna be playing out in the market. And if you understand that right now, you're gonna set yourselves up to make a lot of profit in the process. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you found value in this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos. If you guys would like to join the Discord server or download my free ebook, links are gonna be provided for you in the description for that. For the people that would like to join my Discord server, get access to all the signals that I'm taking, all of the trades I'm going to be taking to close out the end of the year, and all of that fun stuff. Links are also going to be provided for you in the description for that. Get into my group, follow what I'm doing in the final blow off top because it's going to be highly profitable and I would love to have you guys inside of that group. So thank you all so much for watching and with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.